Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Orla and today I'm going to be giving you my five biggest tips for doing leaving cert prees. So leaving cert prees are just around the corner and for a lot of people they're quite stressful time. They're basically a practice run of the real leaving cert exams. You follow the same timetable and the exams are just as long. You get a full paper, it's a replica of what the pre-companies think the Leaving Cert might be that year and it's a good estimate as to how you're doing and how your study's going and like how much work you need to put into certain subjects. So coming in at piece of advice number one, the most important one, please, please, please do not rewrite your notes. So I know when you're going over like chapters and stuff, like it's the natural urge, it's the thing that you feel like you should be doing, just summarize the book again. Don't do that. If you have notes already, leave them and go over them, spend the time reading them, do not rewrite them again. So instead of rewriting the notes, you should be doing exam questions, after exam questions, after exam questions. So for, for an English essay, instead of writing out beautiful notes on Othello or whatever year, Shakespeare for plays, I'm pretty sure it's Othello this year. Instead of doing that, do a timed essay or in maths, do some exam questions, in chemistry, do exam questions, in biology, do exam questions. There is nothing better than exam questions and correct them afterwards, use the marking scheme and see where you're at. See what sort of topics come up regularly and focus on those. Piece of advice number two, don't compare the amount of study you're doing to other people's. Everyone has their own goals and expectations of themselves. So I would have studied a lot this time last year because I needed high points to get into my course. Other people do not need the same amount of points. So don't compare yourself to what other people are doing. Do what you think you need to do. Focus on the amount of work that you need for the points you want and how much work you've already done and base it off that. There's no point in comparing yourself to other people, it's not helpful. Piece of advice number three is to avoid another common pitfall trap and that is to not go over the thing, that your favourite subjects and your favourite areas within those subjects again. It's often like the go-to thing to just study your most comfortable subject but I recommend the opposite, study your least comfortable subject. For me this would have been Irish or probably English just because English was is kind of like a hard one to pull all the strings together at once and timing and etc is quite hard to get right. So for me I would have prioritised Irish a lot during this period of time in kind of like January, February coming up to pre's. I personally didn't sit pre's but it was like mimicking, because we were on lockdown, but mimicking like the time period I would have done way more of my weaker subjects rather than like my good subjects, biology and chemistry, which I was in a perfectly good position in. So focus on the weak ones, don't spend too much time on your strong ones. And within those subjects, focus on the weakest areas that are worth the most marks. So make sure you're not spending loads of time on one chapter that might come up once every four years and be worth 10 marks instead of a chapter that is worth 50 marks every single year. My next piece of advice is to follow Leaving Cert experts on Instagram. So it's an account run by professional teachers. They offer grinds in 15 subjects through Zoom online. They're very affordable grinds. So Leaving Cert experts have already helped hundreds of students prepare for mock exams and the real Leaving Cert from the comfort of their own home over Zoom. Throughout sixth year when I was following their account on Instagram, I also thoroughly enjoyed the occasional meme they would post on Instagram. And it would just brighten up my day so much. I'll post some examples here. As well as that, they have like polls on their Instagram all the time of like students' opinions on whether we're gonna go into another lockdown, whether still schools will stay open, and like opinion boxes too. So you can honestly just rant and see other people's opinions on how the situation is and get updates relating to school. So I definitely recommend following the Instagram page, sending them a DM if you're interested in potentially getting a free trial in certain subjects or 10% off on the grinds. So send them a DM, say that you watch my video and they will help, certainly help you out and set you up. Coming in at tip number five is a few small things together. First of all, they're not as important as they seem. Even with predicted grades, Teachers don't put as much emphasis on them as you think they do and they're way less important than people seem to think they are. They're really more for you and your preparation than anyone else and just doing your best with them is like setting yourself up to do well in June. Also if you haven't started studying yet it's never too late, anything you do is beneficial, anything at all extra you do from now to your pre's will help you, it'll be less work to do for the real exams so get started straight away, get stuck into it, just do what you can do and anything you do now will help you out. Also if you're taking the HPAT don't even consider them as an issue, they are so much less important than doing well in the actual HPAT. Don't sacrifice HPAT pep prep for your pre's, it's not worth it at all and I would say teachers understand that a lot of students 
taking the HP path don't have the same amount of time to put into pre's. So just as a side note, if you're trying to get into medicine next year, focus on the HP path as your number one priority around this time of the year because you only have one shot at that and it's the real deal, it's not the practice run, whereas the pre's are just the practice run. So they're my five big pieces of advice for preparing for leaving Sir pre's. They can be daunting, but honestly, just take it day by day, do whatever you can and you'll get through it no problem. The leaving cert is not as big a deal as it's made out to be and the pre's are definitely like an overthought section. So that's all from me. Thank you to Leaving Cert Experts for sponsoring this video and definitely give them a follow. The link is in the description and send them a DM telling them you watched my video and are interested in starting grinds soon if you are. Thanks again for watching this video. Okay, bye!